The Bible says we walk by faith. You see, faith never sees what I the world sees. I that infirmity and the pain. I command it to loose you right this moment. Faith never relies on the evidence of the senses. All right, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over the infirm spirit. Faith never listens to the vain reasonings of the mind because the mind always says impossible. According to the King and the Lord of all, Jesus Christ. Amen. And at the word of the Lord, do you expect in the name to go? of Jesus Christ, I rebuke in Jesus this name. infirm spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command it out. The guy on Facebook was said he was getting rid of him, and I said, hey, I'll take him. So I've been listening to him. Let's see what... No income. And, uh, it's been definitely a little surreal, and I sort of had the sense of like, wow, I remembered things that were a little crazy, but I didn't remember they were this crazy. The money hasn't come to the 30th, and they, they're trying this faith walk, and haven't discovered that faith isn't trying, it's just believing. But instead of but the tapes, I guess the tapes were a way of life, really. The tapes did a couple of different things. Sometimes, like, it's punishment. I might have to listen to, to a tape. Uh, sometimes, as a reward, I might get to listen to a tape. Matthew 6, 30. I just didn't know any better than to believe God. And he supplied, he supplied the food, the clothes. So Hobart the Freeman tuition, was the, the one that brought, brought the face message. You know, we all go through our search, like, what is, what's out there? What's the meaning of life? That, well, here's the guy that had all the answers. He walks by faith. That means he trusts God for everything. Doesn't worry about finances. Uh, going to college was discouraged. Uh, pretty much any planning for the future, like any financial planning, uh, buying insurance for your houses, um, putting your kids through college, uh, that sort of thing was all discouraged. You just trust God for everything. If a kid got sick, uh, you probably didn't even have a family doctor anymore. You'd stop going. The only thing you would do is pray. People would pray, and it didn't work. Um, so. The church taught that that was because they had a lack of faith. They didn't. They didn't believe enough. Yeah, I mean that's that's the clock. Kids die. I mean, we, I can tell you, you know, firsthand that that happens. Um, my mom was pregnant, and and you know we'd feel the baby kick and, and stuff like that. And uh, the kids were always born at home. Me and my siblings were all off at the um, when it was time for the baby to come. We were off at, at the nice. The baby's been born, and we're on our way back with the knives and the station wagon. Me and my brother and sister are all talking about, you know, ha, ha, who's going to hold the baby first, and about, you know, arguing about that, that sort of thing, like kids do. And we're all excited to meet the new sibling. And we get there, and we're told that uh, Joseph and Michael went to be with Jesus, and that that means uh, died. So, from what I understand, two hours before. Uh, death was was kicking, you know, alive. But uh, at some point, the umbilical cord wrapped around the neck and was born uh, strangled dead. Um, and that's something at a hospital just, you know, would be a routine uh, delivery, and you know, we'd be alive today. So there's six of us today instead of seven. Um, yeah. So that would have been my brother, Joseph Michael Wilson. And the devil will do all he can to get your eyes off the Word of God onto your problem. He'll often use others to help you be defeated. Sometimes you're married to them, your family, your friends, Job's friends, well-meaning church members. So you have to stay away from people when you're going through a trial. I think it like the experience for me, and probably I can speak for most kids that were raised in it, you have like deeply ingrained in you like to not trust anyone else because you have this like sense that like we're the only ones and we can't trust the rest of the world. I think that's one of the legacies of Faith Assembly. And I wish I could describe that in better words because I almost feel like I'm understating it. <laughs>